in chapter 32 of Wuthering Heights, a hunting trip brings Mr. Lockwood near Gimmerton. So he decides to visit Wuthering Heights and pay the rest of his bill from renting Thrushcross Grange. He arrives at Thrushcross Grange first. A servant he doesn't recognize answers the door and explains that Mistress Dean now works at Wuthering Heights. The servant is frantic because Mr. Lockwood arrived unannounced, so he's unable to ask her any more questions. When Mr. Lockwood arrives at Wuthering Heights, the gate is unlocked, so he slips onto the property and has an opportunity to eavesdrop on a conversation between Hareton and Catherine in the kitchen. Catherine is teaching Hareton to read and giving him slaps and kisses as rewards or reprimands, which makes Mr. Lockwood bitterly jealous since Catherine is so beautiful. Once inside, Mrs. Dean says Mr. Lockwood will have to pay his rent to Catherine, or he can settle with Mrs. Dean since she helps Catherine with the household finances now. Mr. Lockwood is confused. Hmm. Mrs. Dean explains that he must not have heard. Heathcliff died three months earlier. Mrs. Dean says she'll explain how he died, but first, that Catherine and Hareton became friends. Mrs. Dean says she's glad Mr. Lockwood did not try to win Catherine's heart. For now, the crown of all her wishes is that Catherine and Hareton will marry. As the title of the novel suggests, Mrs. Dean, Catherine, and Hareton have withstood the wuthering atmosphere of Heathcliff's stormy violence and revenge. The motif of locked doors, walls, and windows signifying boundaries and social isolation as characters search for where they belong comes to its resolution. All the doors, windows, and the telltale property gate are unlocked. The question of whether physical strength and humility or intellectual power is more valuable has been presented throughout the novel. Catherine and Hareton balance the two when Catherine drops her false pride over being more educated than Hareton. This resolves the wrongdoings of the past when Hindley took Heathcliff's opportunity for education away from him. Hindley's cruelty set in motion a cycle of unhappiness. The present generation has righted the wrongs of the past generation by rising above pride. Happiness, love, and peace are rewards for their openness and humanity toward one another. Maybe there's hope for a happy ending to emerge from the gothic gloom after all.